It's a thrill these young jumpers can't get enough of, launching off the rocky cliffs of Lynn Canyon into the icy waters below. That's about it. A little bit of adrenaline, you know, safe, uh, safe fun, you know. 17-year-old Liam Patrickson has been doing it since he was a kid, starting on ledges a couple of metres high, growing up to nearly 20 metres in the air. Despite signs warning people not to jump, he says it's not as dangerous as people might think if in the right hands. I know what I can do and I know what's safe for me, so I'm not going to go above and beyond and do things I don't think are safe. I almost fell backwards. <laughs> Patrickson thinks the real issue isn't locals like him. He says tourists try to take on too much too fast. Sometimes you get tourists coming here who want to show off to their friends and jump the 60 footers right away and you have to see there's a process. It's like skiing or biking. You don't just go do the double black diamonds. Yo! It's something officials on the North Shore are grappling with. Social media is popularizing a lot of local spots, making them a tourist destination. We find that a lot of people are coming to areas like this and they glorify it. And they, they, uh, they don't uh, accurately reflect the extent of the risks. And what they often does is you find a lot of other, you know, mostly younger folk who come in and, and wish to share that same experience. Mayor Walton says he fears the problem will likely increase. Fire crews have already rescued around 15 injured people from the canyon this year. All of them survived. However, there have been multiple fatalities. Over the past 24 years, 30 people died here. But stopping jumpers isn't easy. If we ended up fencing out huge areas here, there's no question that people would just simply go around the end of the fences and may even access an area that's more dangerous than some of the areas that are being accessed now. So they're opting for an awareness approach, signs showing where people have died and crew on hand during the busy months to explain the risks. The changing water conditions, uh, the depth of the water, underwater hazards that they may not know about or take into account, we try and bring those to their attention. The city says whether it's locals or tourists, safety at the canyon is unpredictable at best. The water level and temperature changes quickly. Any amount of cliff jumping puts rescuers' own lives at risk. But so far, that's not enough to deter everyone. I look at it as a trade-off. Uh, friends of mine do drugs and stuff and I don't do that I get this but Mickey Cowan CBC News Vancouver